Draper. Joining me is Dom Giuliano from Magellan uh, Financial Group. Uh, today we're talking about quantitative easing, which is a, a term that's been referenced to uh, the US and uh, more recently Europe. Uh, Dom, what is quantitative easing and uh, why are people so afraid of it? Okay, so quantitative easing is another form of monetary policy. Um, when you've got interest rates at a ridiculously low level, so you've got zero to half a percent essentially in Europe, the UK, and the um, uh, US, um, what, what else can central banks do to try and promote economic activity? Well, they've already pushed the short end of the yield curve down as far as they can, zero to half a percent. What quantitative easing does is to actually try and pull down the longer end of the yield curve down to lower, to lower levels. And so on the 10 year. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly right. So pull down the 5 year, 10 year bond rate to lower levels and hopefully that will stimulate economic activity. So what they actually do is they print money in a modern way. Um, what the central banks literally do is they'll buy some bonds from commercial banks and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll purchase, let's say, a billion dollars worth of bonds and they'll credit them with one with a couple of zeros that never existed before. Right. It's printing money in the electronic age. Right. Um, and, and so suddenly money's been created and the hope is again that those banks will go out and lend money to uh, businesses, etc. Now, what's actually happening is, is even though all of this money is being created out of thin air, it isn't filtering its way through to the real economy because there just is an appetite out there to borrow. So the US banks and the UK banks, um, where you've seen quantitative easing, are essentially getting all of this money that's been given to them by the central bank and just putting it back on deposit with the central bank. So it's money's being generated, but it actually hasn't worked its way into the real economy. The fear is, and do you think it will? Uh, when when um, a little bit more confidence returns into, into economies and businesses become a little bit more happy to borrow, to borrow money, yeah. households as well, then you will actually see some of that money come back into the real economy. Yeah. And the fear is that all of this might be really inflationary because what happens when you do get that spark of interest, how quickly will the banks rush to pull out the deposits and, and loan it out? And that might actually drive up prices, asset prices, there'll be uh, some demand for all sorts of goods and services and that will become very inflationary. The degree of quantitative easing that we've seen in recent times is just unheard of. We've never seen it before. And central banks out there have said that they've got mechanisms in place to control uh, the deflationary elements, if you like, once, once things begin to take off. But frankly, no one really knows how, how well uh, the central banks can actually uh, control all of this. But if we just pull back from all of this and just think about the short term, the reality is, you know, there's a lot of deleveraging taking place in Europe, as we've discussed. Um, growth is not running at a rapid rate in the US uh, or the UK. And so in the short term, we really don't have fears about the inflation environment. That's great. Thanks, Dom. Inflation is something that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Uh, we're going to have a, uh, another video update shortly on uh, the issue. Uh, for more information, stay tuned to our website.